Hmm. Okay, so the last few days I've been getting some help connecting all of the electrical stuff. Um, and I'll do kind of a quick overview of what um, the original plan was, what ended up happening. Um, and then eventually I'll actually go over kind of everything we did for the electrical, but I'm just really not in the mood right now. Um, we had this issue connecting the fan and now there's, I'm really hoping that the fuse just blew and that's the only thing that needs to be replaced. And once that's good to go, everything else will kind of like the whole fan will actually work. The absolute worst that could have happened is the whole electrical system of the fan is fried. It's a $275 fan. There is a warranty, so maybe something can be fixed in that department, but everything so far is basically set up electrical except, well, at least like to be hooked up. I still need to put the water pump in um, so the whole like water system. This is the pump right here. The water system isn't set up yet. I need to get the jugs. There's a whole lot that still needs to be done, but the fan was a huge disappointment today. So very bummed about that. Um, but here is the setup right now. All right, so this was where I wanted to have the batteries. That's the charge controller. Um, there's gonna be one here, which that is still here. But now we have to move the other one right here. So the inverter was also gonna go in that little section right there. Um, but the cables were just not long enough to connect the batteries. So moved them over here. And the fuse block, oh, I don't know if you can see it, there it is, right over there. Um, so the wires are running all the way around to the charge controller. Um, but yeah, so we started wiring the fan, didn't, something happened and so we're working with that. That's the current frustration. And so this is currently the charge controller, this is the Rover 20A MPPT. Um, so yeah, we're getting that little flashing light right there and right there. That error thing is actually saying that the batteries are too far discharged, um, which makes sense because they probably lost all the juice um, when they're sitting not being plugged in. Um, so I think, let's see what we're getting. Okay, it's a little low right now. I think the clouds, yeah, there's, we got some clouds right now. Not a, oh, well, it looks blue in the thing, but it's actually a little bit more gray. But the, uh, I need to wash or wipe off the solar panels. Um, yeah, so then the rest of that's zero, just uh, should, I don't know why it still says zero, wait, zero percent battery. I think that's what that means. Um, I might be call doing another stressful call to Renogy just to see if it is truly just the batteries. I think they're deep cycle batteries, so I know it takes a little while, but they, like this thing has been hooked up for 24 hours and it was pretty sunny yesterday. So I just, and, uh, yeah, just in a frustrated mood, mostly because of the fan, this is just kind of adding on. So, um, let's see, get back to the original. Yeah, so the error one could, again, just means that it's, the batteries are too discharged. So it should, I mean, it wouldn't have, I don't think it should be working. I guess they can see, I don't know. I, have, I like don't know any of this stuff. So it's just really frustrating kind of to be working through some of it and just kind of having no idea. Um, so I don't know if like this is truly because there's just no, no power right now in the batteries and it's slowly filling up, but I feel like that percentage that I clicked through should say that, but I mean, this is on, so I'm trusting that that is all correct. And today, just to kind of get something done that I f actually feel productive about, I'm gonna start um, putting in, I got this, um, let me grab it. It's called a flexible patching compound. 
it is 50% more flexible from whatever it, I guess the first, I don't know what it was before, but, um, so I'm going to use this on the cracks, um, in the panels on the wall because of all the like weird angles. Um, so I'm going to get all the stuff on the driver's side done. Um, all right. So today I'm going to run to Home Depot. I need to pick up a replacement fuse for the fan. Um, that was my electrical yeah, frustration yesterday. So hopefully that fixes it. Um, and then I'm also picking up some, uh, uh, another board of plywood. Um, cause that's what's going, the cabinets are going to be made out of. So having a friend come with me because it is going to be way too big, too heavy for me to do on my own. I could ask a person who works at Home Depot for help, but I just kind of felt a little weird. Um, and I actually just ordered the water jugs online of what I'm going to use for the sink. This is just a little too low for those normal seven gallon, five, even five gallons was too tall to fit. I'm glad I grabbed this thing. Um, so this is a little attachment that goes with the sink. Um, just so I get an idea of the height that I need, or at least the minimum or maximum that it can go to. Um, so I found these little kind of squat ones. I got three. One will be the gray water and then two will be my clean water. Um, I'm going to just keep that spare three gallon in either in the back or up front. Um, probably like under the foot of like the passenger area is kind of what I'm thinking. Because I'll have a lot of space up there since my only passenger is little puppy Shasta and she doesn't need that. I might, I think I'm going to put her food up there too. It'll give her a nice flat area to lie down on. Um, I'm feeling a lot better today after that little freak out. It was a well-deserved freak out. That was a very, I was very upset <laughs> over what happened yesterday with the electrical, but, um, the, uh, the solar still seems to be a little bit like it's not fully charging the batteries. It's been a few days, so I might call Renogy because this is kind of... Oh, we got a little bit more voltage coming in today. Um, yeah, it's still saying 0% for the battery. Zero volts. Yeah, zero amp hours. So... I guess, like, it's still... Um, I think the next thing I'd maybe have to do is figure out how to fully charge the batteries. I think I might have to get like jumper cables or something, which I need anyway, um, and charge up those before reattaching them. I have to complete, at least I know how everything's wired. I can unwire things. It's grounded, so hopefully I don't shock myself. Um, but yeah, feeling a lot better today. That beer at the end of the day helped with that a lot, but. Ooh, weird lighting. So just did some cutting right let's see if you can see right there um I'm going to wait until I get more of the walls Ooh, overexposed oh um more of the walls up um sorry for the changing light it's uh I'm in the shade um but oh Jesus <laughs> um yeah so once I start getting things in and screwing them in I will feel a little bit more confident with what each is going where. And then I just finished putting glue and then the clamps and these are some shims just to protect the um, polyurethane and stain. Um, I kind of want, it's only four, oh, yeah, it's like 4.30. I think I could maybe call it a day, but I kind of also want to finish. Um, I got some stronger glue, so I'd really like to get that all squared away um because yeah the uh the normal 3m adhesive i think it's like 77 adhesive or whatever it is isn't cutting it and looks like actually oh no never mind um i thought some pieces of in uh, like foam insulation that's been in there got pulled down with it so um yeah it's just that gorilla glue stuff i'm gonna put on up there okay so I spent a lot the last few hours trying to figure out how I could potentially keep that fan and see if like if there was a different problem than what I thought it most likely was. Um, I'll turn the AC on. I'm a little too hot. There we go. Um, and 
there's an option or something he can't, this guy recommended, tested that out, didn't work. Um, so I think right now I'm at the point where, yeah, I just need a completely new fan and I got very upset and frustrated on the, well, I started, my voice started shaking a little bit on the phone with the last guy because he was very nice and he was basically echoing my exact same frustrations with the, uh, the Dometic customer service because they said that I basically couldn't make a warranty claim myself even though they're selling these fans through Amazon for individuals to purchase, not just through RV dealers. She, the woman basically said that to make a claim with the warranty, I have to go through an RV dealer. And so I called a few people. The first guy said, no, we don't do that. We don't use outside parts. We don't do warranty claims. The second guy I called was very nice. He said, we don't do outside warranty claims. And he was like, we don't use those fans because I, he was like, I don't like them, um, especially with the remote, which is the exact one I got. Um, but he was like, that's so weird that they sell it on Amazon, but they won't let you make a claim yourself. And I'm like, that's literally my problem right now. Um, there's one more guy I can call who can make a warranty claim, but I might, I'll just have to see how much it is. Um, I'm honestly just done with the company though. Like it's so frustrating that as a, like you're selling these via third party through Amazon, not just through like your website or like other RV websites, which would make sense that you'd have to go through them to make the claim, but the the fact that you're selling them separately so that an individual can purchase them and like do their own work or whatever, and then you're not even, yeah, there's like no help whatsoever. Like the woman literally just said, oh, you have to, you go, you have to go through an RV dealer. So I think I might switch to a Max Air Fan. They look, I mean, I didn't know about them when I first bought this, and then everything I saw online was like, oh, they're better because the rain covers, they're more durable, the f they're quieter. Um, and the one I'm looking at is like $180. So while it's closing in on $200, better than spending another $300 to replace this fan. And I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm just done with the company. I really don't want to work with that anymore or like give them more of my money. I've already given them $300. And I don't, yeah, I'm not going to recommend them because that customer service was like I call I mean she was nice enough it's just that wasn't helpful at all like how are you gonna tell someone who and I literally spelled it out for her I was like so you're you're telling me that I bought I when I even though I bought my fan through Amazon got sent directly to me I didn't work with an RV dealership I still have to go to an RV find an RV dealer that will do this warranty claim for me or will make me pay to do the warranty claim and she was like yeah yeah that's it so like, that's ridiculous. I shouldn't, that doesn't make any sense like to anyone. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I guess I'll call that other guy, see how much it is to, I mean, I'm sure it'll be cheaper. It's just so much work and I'm just over it. I'm so done. I got so frustrated. Um, yeah, I was uh, my voice was shaking on the phone with the guy who was like agreeing with me and I just broke, after I hung up the phone, I just started crying. So it was, it's just ridiculous. Like this is too much hassle for this whole issue. and. Um, it's, I mean, it's going to be a bitch to get all the, the caulking off the roof where the fan is now, but it'll fit directly in there because it's the same size. So I don't know. It's a, just a very frustrating thing. I think everyone has one of those moments in their build and this just happens to be mine. And it's a very frustrating one and a kind of costly one. So, all right, I'm out in the sun. It's very hot. Um, I am very pleased with myself though. My, the inside of my doors haven't been opening from the inside, um, but they do like open from the outside. So it's like, there's something just disconnected on there, I guess, but I was just going to take it to my mechanic to fix. Um, but I noticed, I'll actually kind of take, I'll take you to the other one because you can see it better. Um, let me take it out. So I'm working on these panels to cover all of this. Uh, I'm just cutting up some wood, but when I was opening up the doors today, I noticed this piece, and initially I thought that what was wrong with the door was something with the, elect the electrical, which that's what's going on with the passenger door up front. Um, but I thought maybe this probably must be the culprit then, since it's hanging down. And I felt over on the other door, and it wasn't as far down as this one, but it was loose. Um, but so then I reached up behind here, there's a little tiny hole that this is supposed to fit into. And sure enough, um, I put it in. Let me quickly uh, test it out. 
Alright, I don't know if you can see that tiny little bar moving back there. So that is the connection. And let's go inside and shut the doors. Give this guy another little test just to make sure, make sure that it opens. Alright. Ta-da! I am so happy. That was a really big annoyance that I like was new. I just go have to spend more money on getting that fixed. I don't know if someone like purposely disconnected it or if it just came loose. Um, but I'm wanting to actually make use of those little pockets. Ugh. I am so sweaty and there's sweat all on my glasses, but, um, but yeah, so that's a very nice thing to have discovered today and to have fixed myself. My hands are now covered in like black stuff, but um, a very nice thing to have found. Um, I might, I think I'm going to stop cutting for today, although I, I'm just going to go grab my dad's drill and start cutting out the holes for the back parts of those uh, little pockets. Um, but yeah, definitely highlight maybe of the week. It's been a tough week dealing with that stupid fan. Um, I think I'm just going to buy another one. I think I mentioned that in a different video. Um, and actually this got glued down a couple days ago. So I did that and it's nice and sturdy. I used some wood glue and these three inch clamps. And I put down some shims to protect the... Um, uh, what's it called? The stain and then the the polyurethane top. Um, so yeah, next the um, the jugs are coming in for the sink hole setup on Tuesday. And I emailed Renegy. Still same reading on this. Still the E1 error. Oh, other way. Still the E1 error code. Well, I just forget about that. Um, so hopefully they get back to me. The, uh, what's it called? My brain is so hot, I can't think. The inverter did turn on. Um, I can show you that right now. All right, so here we are down on the ground, and ta-da! So it does turn on. I don't really know what the readings say. I don't know if that's like the power coming through or something. I'll have to ask for energy when I hear from them. I need to clear off all this sawdust, get, go to the vacuum, go to the car wash to get it, all the vacuum. Or all the, oh my god. <laughs> go to a car wash to get all of this sawdust vacuumed up. It's the end of the day, um, just finished up a few hours ago working on the van with my dad. We had we got a lot done these last couple days. Um, the, what we were doing earlier was this. Um, I am planning on painting this, and actually this one is going to be the one that has the fold down table so I can cook outside. Um, and then I'll turn the camera around and show you what else got done. So dad helped, well I helped dad put the rest of the walls up and put in the beginning parts of the cabinets. I cut all those pieces uh, three days ago, I think, three or four days. There was Shasta freaking out. Um, finished this wall and over there. And then today, Dad and I did this. So there's going to be a little thing that covers all the way to the front. This middle part will hinge open, or I'm not sure if it's going to go this way. Um, just based on where the things are. Um, so that will be all enclosed. That is actually going to end up mounting, but I'm having some issues still and I haven't heard back yet from Renegy. Um, I have enough of the board to start putting all the stuff in and also closing this part off. Um, 
But today also very exciting. It's supposed to come tomorrow. It came early, which never happens. Um, my jugs came in. So I got three. One's going to be gray water. Two is going to be clean water. Um, I'm going to have to figure, I think I'm going to cut that and then add a hose. Um, oh my goodness. She's cranky. Um, geez. And so then I'm going to start working on the water system too, getting the sink fully mounted in. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that they were going to be wider, so I wasn't sure if I'd actually be able to have all three under the sink. It's actually kind of nice that I can, um, cause my other option was just putting it at the foot of the passenger side, which doesn't really matter cause I don't have a passenger other than, oh, other than Shasta. And of course she came running through here with dirty paws, dirty and wet paws. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna start working on the little armrest box that's gonna go there. Um, once things get, well, and like the fan and like things like that, once those things start kind of buttoning up, I can start painting, staining the ceiling and staining eventually the top of this. I'm just going to put some plywood out on this. Um, so yeah, it's coming together. I think about 80% done. All right. So checking in for today. Uh, I finished, I made a little kind of storage box here. I'm going to put hinges on the top. Um, and then also finished putting in the paneling for this side. Um, also there's going to be hinges over here. I just, and then I cut out this piece, but I haven't scooted in yet just because I'm still working on the electrical stuff and don't want to fully close it off. Um, but yeah, very, very pleased. And tomorrow I'm going to start covering up all the bottom pieces. So inside of there and then all here, but... Um, then after that, um, painting and pulling together all the finishing work. Um, oh, the cabinets, of course, I need to work on doing the faces of those. All right, so today finished up, I haven't screwed these in yet, but I've covered up all of this under, under the bed area, um, which actually works out because I can just screw in the inverter once all the electrical issues get fixed. And then... We're trying to play fetch, but she doesn't seem to, she wants to give me the ball, but so then she also doesn't. <laughs> so the other thing I did today, it kind of looks like chaos over here, um, but I cut out the doors for the cabinets there and there, and also cut out the holes for those. Um, this is that little back piece that goes in the, oh, goes in the van. Um, and this is the last cabinet. It's gonna go on the side. Those are the little side, side and middle pieces, and that's the shelf. I already cut that a while ago. And that's all I really have left to do. I need to pick up another board because I do need to make the faces for this, and then I do want to make. Oh, are you gonna give me the ball now? Yes, cool. Um, but yeah, so the cabinet doors and the little counter top things need to be finished too. So that's not gonna cut it for all those, but it's an easy pickup. The tradition after a hard day's work is a nice cold beer. I'm a little rosy today because uh, I try to stay in the shade while I'm working, but the sun end obviously ends up moving. Um, ooh, are you giving me the ball back? I'm just gonna stick. Oh. oh, hello. <laughs> We're working on not jumping on people or things, and she just she's trying to get my attention, so she jumped on me. But um, it's definitely a nice kind of end to have a beard, a cool, ooh, there's slobber on me, ugh, just dog mom life, um, but yeah, I didn't put any sunscreen on, should, probably should have, but. My brother's been helping me do the cabinets, and he's just, um, doing, we're doing a quick, well, he's doing a quick smoke break, but, um, just thought I'd show you a little update of, so this is going to be the face of course, it's all like all drawn on from the side, the front side, but that'll be painted. Um, but since this plywood is far too thin and I wanted to have a good kind of anchor, I added these one by twos. Um, so there's a second point for these to screw into. I did that also on that one. That's going to go over the bed. Um, and yeah, nice and sturdy. So next we're going to actually screw them on. So very excited. And once that guy is up here, I will have something to screw this cabinet into. It's going to be screwed into there and also kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see that peak that's running all the way to the front. So I'll screw a little bit up there and then down here. Um, I'm going to do kind of an angle so I can um, 
screw down here and then up here. Um, yeah. has to wait two hours between each coat um i honestly think these two are probably done uh it's funny because they're both it's all birch plywood this was just from a two foot by four foot piece and these two were from a four by eight piece and i guess the bigger ones just have better greens to them but this one looks all right we'll see how this kind of dries up this was the very first one i did but i think that guy's done it's just gonna be a very dark piece but that's all right um it'll be interesting kind of having different cuts of wood all the green is the greens are all going the same direction they're just not all like as pretty as like that but coming out nice mm -hmm. 